Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. Rachel, your new host for now, until Eve comes back. Today, we're diving into the topic of immigrating to Canada, specifically to Nova Scotia. Many of you have expressed your interest in moving to Canada with your families, and if you're one of those individuals, you're in the right place. In this video, we'll be uncovering one of the latest immigration pathways in Nova Scotia tailored for specific occupations that are in high demand. Remember, if you're considering this immigration option, make sure you fall within the age range of 21 to 55. Additionally, having at least one year of work experience and a high school diploma certificate are essential requirements We'll delve into more eligibility criteria later in this video, so stay tuned for that valuable information. Take a moment to hit the like button. It helps YouTube recommend my videos to more people. If you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button below and don't forget to turn on your bell notifications. Share these videos with your friends and loved ones and let's continue with the exciting details. All right, let me break down the various immigration programs they've got going on in Nova Scotia. First up, we've got the Nova Scotia Labour Market Priorities. That's like a special provincial nomination thing. Then there's the Labour Market Priorities for Physicians, which is all about those folks in the medical field. If you're dreaming of starting your own business, they've got the Entrepreneur Pathway just for you. International graduates looking to kick off their own venture can explore the International Graduate Entrepreneur Pathway. For those graduates in high-demand professions, there's the International Graduate In-Demand Pathway. If you're a skilled worker in specific occupations, the Skilled Worker Pathway is your go-to. Occupations currently hot in the job market? Check out the Occupations In-Demand Pathway. Now, in construction, they've got the Critical Construction Worker Pilot Pathway, addressing some urgent needs there. For those who've already had a taste of Nova Scotia, the Nova Scotia Experience Express Entry Pathway is worth looking into. And last but not least, healthcare professionals can explore the Healthcare Professionals Immigration Pilot, also known as the Letter of Interest Pathway. So, there you have it a bunch of different routes to consider, depending on your qualifications and what you're aiming for. Yep, they've got a lineup of 11 provincial nomination programs currently running, so you've got options to explore and find the one that suits you best. Today, though, we're narrowing down our focus to one of these pathways. We'll share some handy info about why we think it could be a great option for you especially if it aligns with your area of expertise. And to top it off, we'll walk you through the eligibility criteria, showing you how you can make the most of this opportunity. Let me break down some general criteria for this program. Firstly, it's specifically for individuals aged between 21 and 55. So, if you fall within this age range, congratulations, you're pre-qualified for this pathway. Secondly, you only need a minimum of one year of full-time work experience. Now, this pathway covers various occupations, and I'll be listing them out shortly in the video. Whether you're a skilled worker in Canada or outside of Canada, having just one year of work experience is the key requirement. Here's something noteworthy. Because this is considered a critical pathway, the government has waived the application fee Yes, you heard it right. No application fees for this critical pathway. Once you've got all the necessary requirements in place, applying for this pathway is a breeze. The best part? Getting the certificate of nomination from the government of Nova Scotia won't cost you a dime. It's absolutely free. Now let me tell you about the perks you stand to gain with this opportunity. First and foremost, this pathway aligns with a sector that's not only crucial for Nova Scotia, but for all of Canada. That means you're not just aiming for opportunities in one province. You're putting yourself on the front line 
for job opportunities throughout the entire country. All right, let's dive into the details of the Critical Construction Worker Pilot. As the name suggests, this is currently a pilot program. Essentially, the government is testing the waters to see how well it performs before deciding whether to make it a permanent immigration program or scrap it altogether. The exciting news, though, is that we're currently in the pilot phase, and if you meet the eligibility criteria, you can apply for this program. So, if you're eyeing opportunities in the construction sector, Stick around for more information on how this pilot could be your ticket to a new chapter in Canada. Let's take a look at the extensive list of occupations covered under the Critical Construction Worker Pilot for Nova Scotia. Here's the breakdown. Construction Managers Home Building and Renovation Managers Contractors and Supervisors Electrical Trade and Telecommunications Occupations Contractors and supervisors, other construction trades, installers, repairers, and services. Now, a quick tip for you. Each occupation has its respective NOC, National Occupational Classification, code listed on the left side. If you're unsure which NOC code applies to your role, no worries. You can grab the specific NOC code for your occupation and head over to the Canada Immigration Portal. There you'll find detailed job descriptions for each NOSI code. This way, you can ensure you're selecting the one that directly aligns with your work experience, no matter where you currently reside. Great! Let's continue with the comprehensive list of occupations falling under the Critical Construction Worker Pilot. Contractors and Supervisors Mechanic Trades Welders and Related Machine Operators Electricians industrial electricians, carpenters, bricklayers, heavy-duty equipment mechanics, heating, refrigeration and air conditioning mechanics, crane operators, concrete finishers, plasterers, drywall installers and finishers, lathers, roofers and shinglers, residential and commercial installers and services, heavy equipment operators, material handlers, construction trade helpers and labourers. Other construction trade helpers and labourers. Phew, that's a comprehensive list. Now, the key takeaway. If you've got at least one year of foreign experience in any of these occupations, congratulations. You're eligible to apply for the Critical Construction Worker Pilot. This programme leads to a provincial nomination from the Government of Nova Scotia. With that nomination, you can then approach IRCC, Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, the federal immigration body in Canada, to secure your permanent residence. Now, let's look in on the crucial eligibility criteria for the Critical Construction Worker Pilot. The key requirement here is a full-time permanent job offer from a Nova Scotia employer in any of the previously mentioned NOC codes we covered earlier in the video. This scheme is intricately tied to the economic development of Nova Scotia, making it essential for applicants to have a direct, full-time job offer. The idea behind this is to address the labour shortage in the construction industry with permanent residents who can contribute to Nova Scotia's economic growth. So, if you're thinking, What's next after receiving this information? Worry not, we're going to delve deeper into how you can seize this fantastic opportunity and make the most of it. Great, let's move on to the next steps for taking full advantage of the Critical Construction Worker Pilot. Firstly, head to the Nova Scotia Government's Provincial Nomination page. There, you'll find an application guide a 34-page PDF file chock full of crucial information about the Critical Construction Worker Pilot. This guide is your go-to resource to understand all the ins and outs of the program. I highly recommend making this your initial action after watching this video. Download the guide on your mobile phone, tablet or laptop and delve into the details. Now, on to the second point. 
finding jobs in the province. Nova Scotia has specific provincial job platforms tailored for construction-related jobs. In the next section, I'll guide you to these platforms, making it easier for you to spot opportunities in the construction sector in Nova Scotia. Let's dive into the practical side of things. The first platform I'm showing you is specifically for public opportunities. Ideal if you're looking for jobs in the government or public sector of Nova Scotia. The website is called jobs.novascotia.ca. Here, you can explore job listings in various government or public departments within Nova Scotia, covering a spectrum of opportunities, including those in the construction sector. It's a valuable resource to kickstart your job search and potentially find the perfect fit for your skills and experience. So, head over to jobs.novascotia.ca and explore the possibilities awaiting you in the public sector of Nova Scotia. Let's explore another platform for job opportunities. If you're looking for a broader range of jobs beyond the public sector, check out Nova Scotia Jobs. This provincial platform serves as a hub where private employers and industry experts publish job opportunities in Nova Scotia. What I've done here is search specifically for construction-related jobs. Keep in mind that this is just a snapshot and there are various jobs available on this portal. These results are filtered to show jobs related to construction, aligning with the programme we're discussing. Take a look and you'll find a list of new job postings, many of which were recently posted on this platform. It's an excellent resource to explore diverse job opportunities in Nova Scotia's private sector. Absolutely, now that you've identified construction-related jobs that align with your skills and experience, it's time to take action and start applying. To make the most of the critical construction worker pilot, you need to actively pursue the positions you're qualified for. One crucial step in this process is to convert your CV to the Canadian format. Canadian employers often have specific preferences and expectations when it comes to resumes. Tailoring your CV to meet these standards increases your chances of standing out to potential employers. Be sure to highlight your relevant skills and experiences, showcasing how you can contribute to the construction sector in Nova Scotia. Remember, proactivity is key. Apply for the jobs you qualify for and don't hesitate to reach out to employers. Keep refining your approach based on the feedback you receive and you'll be well on your way to seizing the opportunities presented by the critical construction worker pilot. And absolutely, writing a compelling cover letter for each job application is another crucial step. A well-crafted cover letter allows you to express your enthusiasm, showcase your qualifications, and demonstrate how you can contribute to the specific role and company. So, to summarise, Make sure to convert your CV to the Canadian format, write personalised cover letters for each application, and then head to the relevant platforms to search for jobs in your area of expertise. It's all about putting your best foot forward and taking proactive steps towards securing opportunities in Nova Scotia. The Critical Construction Worker Pilot in Nova Scotia is indeed a fantastic opportunity, especially for those in the construction or related industries. If you're considering making a move to Nova Scotia and contributing your skills to the construction sector, this provincial program can open doors to exciting possibilities. Remember, it's not just about the job offer. It's about becoming a part of Nova Scotia's economic growth and securing a pathway to permanent residence in Canada. Take advantage of the resources available, explore job opportunities, and position yourself for success in this programme. Feel free to reach out if you have any more questions or need further guidance. Best of luck to everyone exploring this excellent opportunity in Nova Scotia's Critical Construction Worker Pilot. It's been a pleasure providing information and insights. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any more questions in the future, feel free to reach out.
Have a fantastic day.